Hello, I'm Dr. Valida Bajrovic, an infectious disease specialist at UC Health. I'm going to walk you through what you need to know about public health services guidelines regarding solid organ donor screening. All living and deceased donors undergo a rigorous evaluation process to determine whether they have risk factors of having recently acquired either HIV, hepatitis B, or hepatitis C. Transplant centers must include information regarding a donor's risk factors in informed consent discussions with transplant candidates or their medical decision makers. Deciding to accept an organ offer from a donor with risk factors for acute HIV, HBV, and HCV infection requires weighing the risk of transmission versus the risk of staying on the waiting list. It should be noted that even under the highest risk behaviors, the risk of HIV, HBV, or HCV transmission from a PCR-negative donor organ is less than 1%. On the other hand, in one analysis of candidates on the kidney waiting list, accepting an organ from a donor with risk factors for HIV, HBV, or HCV resulted in increased five-year survival rates. Kidneys from donors with some risk factors have the same chances of kidney rejection as kidneys from donors with no identifiable risk factors for HIV, HBV, or HCV infection. And there are some clear benefits of accepting an organ offer from a donor with some risk factors. For example, these donor kidneys are likely from younger donors, which means they have fewer medical conditions, are likely of better quality, and will last longer. Accepting such an offer also means a shorter time on the waiting list. Your decision to accept or refuse an organ offer from a donor with some risk factors for HIV, HPV or HCV infection could affect your health and quality of life. That decision could also change as your health changes over time. That's why it's so important to be well informed so you can make a decision that best meets your health needs and personal values. As always, we're here to answer any questions you may have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.